What's up? Welcome back to Nostalgia. Dave here with a review of Inside Out 2, the new Pixar film sequel to Inside Out way back in 2015. And this film is coming at an important time for, for Pixar. It feels like the last few Pixar films we've been saying that, but I think this is truly the case because Pixar seems to be getting back to its commercial good graces that really fell by the wayside with the pandemic. Of course, with Luca and Turning Red going straight to Disney Plus, Lightyear underperforming, Onward having its legs cut off by COVID, Pixar had been in a box office slump and a lot of fear with Disney training audiences to wait for their high profile films to just hit the service after a, a you know short window, uh, much faster than the previous home video window had been. This had been really concerning right? And Elemental last year opening quite poorly, but Elemental did really leg out and actually became a pretty successful film in the end, kind of against all odds. And now Disney and Pixar have publicly acknowledged that they're pivoting to more commercial, albeit safer choices, namely sequels to already successful Pixar franchises. And Inside Out 1 was incredibly successful, huge blockbuster, huge grocer. And Inside Out also, frankly, is elemental but better. So making a sequel to Inside Out 2 is not shocking to me. And I think the best thing about Inside Out 2 is that it's a pretty logical like next step forward for a sequel. Riley, the main character of the first film, whose emotions we spend all our time with, Riley is now a young teenager and she's entering puberty. So having the emotions change, new emotions, more nuanced emotions, such as anxiety and envy coming into the mix. It's a pretty, pretty smart choice for a sequel. That being said, I didn't find Inside Out too groundbreaking thematically. Ultimately, it's pretty safe. It's pretty lacking in conflict. It's kind of straightforward there are certainly clever things about it i think in general the like manifestation of emotions and like the master dashboard where the emotions program the brain i think that's pretty amusing still and there's some genuinely clever stuff like the sarcasm being a canyon and brainstorm literally being a storm those are amusing moments but frankly i found elemental almost more of a more thrilling entertaining time even if it's kind of less involved thematically and inside out too frankly it, it just felt kind of like more inside out to me and i think kind of the films need to really kind of put plot momentum into the story just for the fact that this is a kids movie right this cannot just be for adults who are appreciating the nuances of trying to portray all the emotions that go into you know r human thought right there has to be quest elements to the story joy and friends have to go somewhere to achieve something there has to be mcguffins right and you know, the, the, that we just need those core like film tenets for the film to kind of function and move along especially when you have it especially for a young audience i think for me like having anxiety voiced by Maya Hawk be the antagonist makes a lot of sense. And I think the setup is pretty strong, but ultimately like anxiety is not like a hard villain or by any means, right? Cause anxiety is still on the side of Riley. Like all the emotions, they all have the same goal, even if they have their very different methods, right? So it is pretty low stakes because you know, things are going to work out. There's really nothing that's surprising about what you're seeing. And like, again, like it's kind of funny to think about the existential Pixar cluster we've gotten relatively recently, right? With the first Inside Out, its sequel, as well as Soul from 2020 and Elemental last year. And again, I think Elemental is like kind of the most rote and surface level thematically of the bunch but to me it's actually the most fun to watch of all of them as well obviously the first inside out one is the strongest but also soul is probably i think the deepest and the most existential of all right and as a result it's also probably the least child friendly so it's kind of interesting to reflect on all of that and i honestly like it doesn't seem like we're going to be getting anything like that anytime soon uh, from Pixar, from all the messaging we've been getting out of Disney. One note I did have, I saw this on IMAX screen, notably a digital IMAX screen, and some of the picture quality didn't look super great, to, on be, to be honest to me. Like, the close-ups of the emotions, often it was of joy, where, I don't know, it almost looked a little pixelated, a little fuzzy. 
I've never had a ex- bad experience at that IMAX before, so I don't really think it was the projector. I don't know. It just it didn't look super great at times when it was blown up on a gigantic screen. I'd be curious if anyone else had some more th- feedback on that. Also, I did find it kind of amusing that, you know, ho- hockey, again, a huge element, plot element of Riley's life, like the first Inside Out. It is kind of amusing to me to see like a very multicultural hockey team just because hockey is one of the waspiest most affluent whitest sports you know we have so it's just kind of idealistic in a good way i have no issue with it but just made me chuckle because i was like there's like probably no hockey team ever that's looked like that and lastly it is great to see that seemingly inside out 2 is going to be a huge hit the tracking domestically was actually bumped up to 90 million we'll see where that ends up settling but the box office surely needed a big hit and some good momentum coming here after Bad Boys 4 did well, Inside Out 2 looking to do well, Despicable Me 4 keeping the you know youth audience momentum going, seemingly will be doing well as well. So yeah, I think Pixar needed the win, Disney needed the win, the whole box office and industry needed the win, and even if I think Inside Out 2 is ultimately really a lesser version of its uh, predecessor in every regard, uh, it's still, a, I think, a welcome edition and you know solid pixar entry i would have this in the second definitely the second half of pixar films just because it like in terms of pixar sequels right like i guess you'd take this over finding dory i suppose but like this doesn't compare to any of the toy story sequels it doesn't compare to even monsters university to me which is probably a hot take but i fucking love that movie thought that was really fun but yeah let me know what did you think of inside out too how did you like it how would you compare it to the first film how you feeling about pixar these days and for more movie reviews subscribe and i'll see you next time